people so I'm finally getting around to do my favorites for 2012 video I suggest you to grab a cup of coffee or for my case if I'm watching back myself I would grab a cup of Milo but just grab anything to drink or eat because this is going to be long I took a lot of time to gather all the products or all the things that I'm going to show you which means you will take as much time to finish watching this video This is going to be long, I'm just going to jump right into everything First, I think you guys know about this It's Biorama Sensi Bio H2O Cleanser Slash Makeup Remover I wanted to do a review on this but because this is really just a cleanser slash makeup remover that works really well on what it is supposed to do. So that's why if I were to do a video, a, a video, a review on this, I would just keep repeating that this is a cleanser slash makeup remover that works really good. This is really worth the money. Okay, maybe not because it might not work for everyone. But this is the only skincare product that I'm using because I just use the water to splash it on my face and yeah. That's how I wash my face all the time. And after using this, I can really feel that my face is cleaner and my arms even tell me that my face looks cleaner. Which means this really works. Next, I know this is going to be weird but it's this cotton pad and this Q-tip both from Sasa. And it's really cheap. This is only $2.50 and this is only $0.85. Cents. It is not like your regular q-tips or your cotton pads it won't how do you say like the cotton won't how do you say like um like psh, everywhere because they are all stuck together okay this is what i mean look at them too the one that looks worse is actually more expensive than this sasa one that looks better Next will be this blotting powder by Gatsby. Gatsby is my favourite. But I'm really disappointed in their hairspray. But I love their wax. Which I don't really use it anymore. Because I don't wax my hair anymore. This is a special blotting powder because it is powdered oil clear paper. Which looks like that. And instead of just like soaking in your oil. Okay, that sounded really disgusting. But you know what I mean, it's like instead of just soaking in those extra oil in your skin or face it actually sets a powder on it and don't worry, this powder is transparent so you won't look like you apply makeup or anything if you're a guy and you can get this at Watson's or like just any store for foundation, I have a new favourite translucent powder it is this Bare Minerals um, Touch Up Veal Ooh, Black Veal Bright <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry Touch Up Veal with SPF 15 inside It doesn't smell, it doesn't kick your face It's just way better than the Maybelline's one Although it's a lot expensive here No, that is not a word It's a lot more expensive than the Maybelline's one but because it's so expensive I will try to you know don't use it as much as I should just to save it Maybelline's one the smell will go away after a while a, a while a while but I just cannot go through that a while a well what the hell a while process so I'll stick to this powdered blotting um, sheet Every time I use translucent powder, it's only to set my concealer. So I think this will work fine. Yeah, why didn't I think of that before I buy this? Never mind, it's never too late. I can save up this by using this now. You know how much I love Topshop's nail polish. So how can they not be one of my favorites? This is one hot minute and I'm sure you know why I love this. It's the color and yeah, it's just the color. But for this, I think it looks absolutely stunning okay not really stunning stunning is not the right word it's like it looks really good not alone but with other colors like I'm wearing it now with white or you can just change it to black to make it a little more on the cool side than the pure side but you know me I prefer dark nail polish so I might change it anytime 
uh, change the white to black because white nail polishes are really hard to apply. Now speaking about nail polishes, I found my favorite, 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 favorite nail remover. It is this Topshop nail varnish remover. It's only six dollars. Uh, it's the same price as the makeup wipes from Topshop and it is like that inside it comes with little pads really thin pads but one of this is enough to remove 10 of your finger nail polishes can you believe it? and I tried it when I had my dark nail polish on so it's really good, really worth the price it's like look at the amount of pads you have is a bunch you can use it for more than a year I think I have this for half a year already that's why I really recommend this for people who wear nail polishes and get tired of the color as fast as I do now on to the makeup you guys heard me talking about this a lot so I'm not going to repeat what I said about this but this is the HD High Definition Eyeshadow Primer Pro Primer by LA Girl from Sasa. There's quite a lot of repeated items so I'm just going to show you and tell you the name instead of blabbering about it all the time. This Ma Maybelline, <laughs> Maybelline Lashiny Star. I finally got it right. Lashiny Star Mascara. It's really good at lengthening but it's not good at volumizing. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk today. Elf Cream Eyeliner. You know how much I love this, so I'm not going to talk about this other than it lasts really long. Then I have this Naked Original Palette. I realized that I keep on going on about this palette, so I decided to do a review on this when I have the time too. Finally, something new. This is Cleo Professional Kill Slim Liner. It's a Korean brand and it's $23 I saw in Watson's. I also talked about this in my last tutorial so this is this. Moving on to this brush from Sephora. It's really cool. I got it um, during like the Christmas time. What's so special about this brush is that you can open it up. Uh, open it up. It's magnetic so you can you know. It's good for traveling. There are three brushes in this one angled brush, one normal eyeshadow brush, and one pencil brush. This is the pencil brush that is good for uh, applying eyeshadow on your crease and not those really stiff kind of pencil brush. Whoa, I just sound really sexy there. Oh, this brush is 20 something I believe. I'm not sure whether if they still have it in store or online but I will go check it for you. This MAC lipstick in Viva Glam 1 it looks like that. Honestly, I prefer Diva by MAC but this is the Viva Glam collection which means you can help people by buying something you like. You see what I did there? Killing two birds with one stone. Moving on to the tools that I use. I really love this gigantic nail clipper because it is strong enough. I didn't get this anywhere. I got this for free from, I cannot remember where, I remember there's a paper hanging here on this wire thing. And this is made in Korea, so if you visit Korea, go look for this. Or you can find it anywhere, I believe. I mean. It's just a nail clipper, so it should be easy to find. This is what I use to pluck my um, eyebrows and it's kind of painful to be honest. But my pin tall, 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 what is that? Tolerant level is really low, so it might not be painful to you, I don't know. I have two of them. This is rounder and this is um, flatter. And I prefer this because, okay, let me show you something. If I force it close, you can see that the skinnier and taller and flatter one is going inwards 
whereas I have to use a lot of force for this to get it as in as this so now you get what I mean I didn't like this bit head down blonde shampoo at first because I thought that it's too strong for my hair but I was wrong it really lightens my hair and this time when I use it, I think it's because my hair wasn't used to this shampoo yet. That's why it feels rough after rinsing it off. Not only lightens my uh, hair for this part, it takes off the yellowness inside basically. I don't know how to say but it feels smooth this time around. Smoother than head and shoulders. Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Conditioner. This is really popular everywhere I think. The sad thing is it's not easy to find in Singapore. In fact, I think there's no such thing in Singapore. I got this off eBay for 20 over dollars and after that, I cannot find anything cheaper than that. But if you watched my hair FAQ video, you should know how amazing this is. I always wanted to do a lot of fashion videos but I just cannot find the right view for my outfits and those fashion related things because my room is not beautiful enough for my bed 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 man bed background to be the background of my outfits video hoodies I cannot leave my house without a hoodie I mean I can but this is from Savily and I love this because it's just beautiful and you know Savily is a store where you can help someone by buying some pieces of their clothing. Best part is this is really comfy. This is really really comfy. The other hoodie that is unzipped and with a red hanger is this Armani Exchange hoodie that I got. It was featured in my haul video someday, some at some point of the time it was. But I really like this because one is Armani Exchange and that's my first AX hoodie ever which I got a discount on. And I didn't know there was a sale going on until my mom and I went to the counter to pay for this and realized that eh? Why this is like cheaper than the price stated there? But I mean, who doesn't like sales? Also, they have my size which is really good and surprising. I never shopped in Armani Exchange before. I once stepped into their big, big store and I looked at the price of a t-shirt and you know their t-shirts are really, really thin but expensive. So when I saw the price, I was like, Oh my goodness, let's leave this. And I think this is my first bright, other than white, bright hoodie that I own and first red hoodie. Because you know, red brings out our yellow tone of colour. That's why I don't really, I try to avoid red other than red lipsticks. Actually no, I always go for darker shades of red which makes my teeth look less yellowy. Needless to say, Topshop socks are definitely my favourite because it's comfortable and it's affordable. That's the best part. I mean, Topshop for only $9 a pair. It's really affordable. Now moving on to the expensive ones. It's this pair of black covered up Topshop shoes that was featured in my haul video. I think it's the Topshop. Everything will be in the description box. The links, the details, everything. So just go check the description box out to know more about these shoes. I'll, I will find which haul video I featured these shoes in. Four necklaces, is it? No, I can't count. It's five. Wait, yeah, it's five, I think. Okay, it's five. This cross necklace is from Forever 21. I don't wear it often, but I do wear it. Then, you all know this. You all know this so well. And since this a lot of time, I think you guys are best friends already. This coffee necklace I got from Etsy. This spiked necklace I got from Topshop. You guys know this because it was featured in my haul video also. And that was on sale the other day. It was only for $13. 
Then these two necklaces that I really love and it is surprisingly small. I didn't know I thought it's bigger until it came and I was like, it's so tiny. Who can ever see what I'm wearing? It's pentagram. Is it how you call it? Pentagram, you know, the circle star thing necklace and inverted cross necklace. By the way, inverted cross don't necessarily means anti Christ things, okay? Come on, be open minded. Search up the real meaning of inverted cross. I realized something. I didn't smile that much in this video today because I just keep repeating the same thing and the things get less funnier or happier when you repeat it over and over again. So it's not that I'm not happy, it's like I keep repeating. Okay, I'm now I'm repeating. Oh, it's almost the end. Okay. The happiest thing ever! Since I'm doing this after 2012, I decided to cheat a little bit and add this as my favorite. Let me go get my phone. Oh, it's just beside me. Okay, let me show you something. The best day of my life, man. Hold on. Let me get it for you. Oh, I took a picture so I don't have to go search it. If you follow me on Twitter or Facebook or, I mean, like my fan page or uh, follow me on Instagram, you should have already known this because I like keep spamming it. I'm sorry if you did follow me or do follow me because I was just so shocked and so happy and so excited. Where is the picture? Hold on. Here it is. Let, let me let me focus it, okay? Let me focus it. Oh my goodness, I wanna go crazy again. See who retweeted me? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't wanna go crazy, but okay, now I have to f f refocus it back. I think that will do. I hope it will focus, otherwise, the rest of the video will look really stupid. Andy Beers like retweeted me. I uh, I don't even know what to say. Ah, thank you, Andy. You made my day. No, you made my life. Okay, back to my favorites. That tweet is one of my favorites because he retweeted me on that tweet. You know what I mean? Next favorite will be the movie Legend of the Black that I watched. Uh, it is by Blackfield Bryce. Oh my goodness. It was awesome. I really want to thank Blackfield Brights for making it online so people who are not living in the US can watch it. Of course, you have to pay the money, but I mean, it's it's a movie. It's way cheaper than watching movie in Singapore. And you can watch it for 24 hours. So it's like, wow, a really good deal, I must say. Especially when the movie is so perfect and you know the movie is going to be good But if you watch a movie in Singapore, it's not guaranteed that your money will be well spent You know what I mean? So it's like Wow, thank you for You never ever never ever 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 disappoint me never And another favorite from them is their new album Wretched and Defined. Now finally, to the last part, it's movies. One is Blackfield Bright's Legend of the Black. The other one is a really shocking thing for me. Because, okay, you know I don't like Twilight. I never liked it. I know there's a Twilight book behind me, but I never read it. I just bought it for fun because everyone was like raving about it. I read the first few pages and I was like, Ugh, go away. One, I think it's because I am not a reader. And two, I think it's because I am originally not a Twilight fan. But something changed my life. I went to watch Breaking Dawn Part 2. I decided to give Twilight a go since it's the last movie. I think it's like the last, last, last part. Like, Harry Potter, I went to watch it, the last of the last of Harry Potter, I went to watch it and really, really loved it. And I liked Harry Potter before, but it's just that I don't go crazy with it 
like I don't buy the books because it's like so thick. How can I ever read that? I have problems reading this thick of a book. How can I read this thick of a book? So I watched some of the Harry Potter movies on TV and decided to go for the last Harry Potter movie and I felt sad even though I am not a huge Harry Potter fan but I really love that show. Okay, now we are talking about Breaking Dawn Part 2. It was amazing, honestly. This is coming from someone who hates or hated Twilight. Can you believe it? It's really good. It's really good, trust me. Inception was my favourite movie because it is really confusing for some reason. The storyline is really confusing for people around me, which makes me feel good because I can understand what they're saying and I can understand the movie very well. Also, the storyline is really good. Okay, Breaking Dawn. I don't really like Edward, to be honest, okay? Is it Edward? Is he Edward? The vampire. Don't hate on me. At least I'm not snatching Edward from you. Um, I don't like him because he kind of gives me the creeps. Like, he, he creeps me out. I prefer Jacob. He is like... Wow. Next movie is um, Wreck-It Ralph. It's a cartoon. It's uh, animated, not cartoon. It's animated. It's good. It has got this really meaningful story behind it. It made me cry. It really did. It's just a really meaningful movie. Even for me, as a grown-up, I still think that it's a really good storyline that means it will help the kids, it will help the youth, it will help the teenagers, adults and even elderly I think. I think they're mature enough, right? So this is it for this super super long ass video. I think it's almost half an hour long. I hope not because it's insane. So I'll see you guys in my next video and cut my outro short. Bye! Keep smiling and stay classy. I forgot to say that. How can I ever forget to say my signature thing? Never mind, you don't get what I mean. Bye!